Hello and welcome back to Oncology for Medical Students. This section of videos is on oncological emergencies. This will be just a quick introduction to explain what oncological emergencies are before we cover the most important ones in more detail in the following videos. Oncological emergencies are complications of either the disease process of a cancer itself or side effects of the treatment that have potentially serious or life-threatening consequences. There are many complications that can be included under the banner of oncological emergencies and often people like to arrange them into different categories. I've chosen to divide them into emergencies caused by mass effects of the tumour or tumours, metabolic or hormonal effects and treatment related effects. Others will prefer to think of them within body systems, for instance, cardiovascular, respiratory, hematological, endocrine, etc. Use whatever works for you. Just under each heading, I'll put the most important emergencies and below other conditions that fit into these categories. Some of these are more often thought of as general complications of either the disease or treatment, but I've included them just to highlight the fact that, if not treated relatively early, some of these can become causes of serious harm or even death. In the first category, mass effects, the most important emergencies to be aware of are superior vena cava compression and spinal cord compression. In superior vena cava syndrome, the mass effect of the tumour pressing on the vena cava can prevent blood from returning to the heart. If uncontrolled, tumours can go on to block the airways or cause a build-up of pressure in the brain, both of which can be fatal. In spinal cord compression, the effects of tumours near the spinal cord can put increasing amounts of pressure on the cord and cause irreversible damage. This can leave patients without the use of their limbs. Other conditions related to the mass effect of cancers requiring urgent treatment might include cardiac tamponade, where a buildup of fluid around the heart prevents it from beating properly, or brain tumours, which can cause an increase of pressure in the skull cavity, leaving, leading to the brain squeezing out the bottom, which again can be fatal. Blockage of the urinary tracts, if left untreated, can cause kidney failure. Respiratory failure can occur if tumours prevent the function of the lungs and bowel obstruction can also lead to very serious consequences. The second category, metabolic emergencies, includes hypercalcemia and tumor lysis syndrome. Hypercalcemia is a condition often associated with advanced cancers, which describes elevated levels of calcium in the blood. It can lead to a lot of unpleasant symptoms, but most importantly, if left untreated, can lead to cardiac arrhythmias and cardiac arrest. Tumor lysis syndrome occurs when large numbers of tumor cells burst, also known as lysis, usually due to an effective treatment, for instance, chemotherapy. The cells release their contents, which includes a large concentration of potassium and uric acid, which can have lethal effects on the heart and kidneys. Other complications in the metabolic category might include hypoglycemia and venous thromboembolic events, where the metabolic effects of the cancer make the blood more likely to clot. Finally, treatment-related emergencies have to include, first and foremost, neutropenic sepsis. This is where patients whose immune systems are very weak due to the effects of chemotherapy develop an infection, a situation that is life-threatening unless treated very promptly. For now, in the following videos, we'll start our focus with the most common and serious emergencies listed at the top. Thanks for listening. Um, the next video will be on superior vena cava syndrome. I hope you've enjoyed the video and see you next time. Thanks.